Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Gate Delvers, an action roguelike dungeon crawler. I'm very excited to be checking out the demo for as part of the Steam Next Fest here. In we are going to go. The game has online co-op to it, which is very interesting. And the closest thing I can sort of equate it to from the brief little bit I did, the tutorial, is that it's truly kind of like if you took a traditional roguelike, but you then just moved it one column over into an action road like it really does uh have that kind of old school traditional feel to it in that way so hello there punk uh so how do we want to do this we could get you with a little punch here the candles set him on fire steal the pickaxe does piercing damage and we can dig walls with it i kind of would like to um not well i mean it doesn't say that it uses durability if we smack it. What the hell you what the hell are you doing it didn't lose durability when we uh, we smacked him with it there which is okay so as long as we're not smacking a wall we're okay all right how do we want to go about this is there a map that we can uh peek at no but we have we have a character here that we can pick uh, or that we have picked i guess we have an ability, gain speed and double damage for 2.5 seconds. Killing an enemy refreshes the duration. Interesting. Any fatal damage received when above one health leaves you with one health instead. You bo do bonus damage at one health. Okay. All right. Very interesting. Boop. What do we do with this? I feel like I thought that there was... Ah, there we go. All right, so we go, we're basically trying to run around looking for these crystals. It seems like we get a skill card after we find one, and it is kind of, you know, I think we have a deck we can kind of build outside in, you know, the in-between dungeon interim. And then in here, when we level up, we get to pick one of three out of that deck. Guns reload while holding another item. Restore 20% durability to all items whenever you level up or fully charged gun and bow shots deal plus one damage. I, this one has like fancy stuff blinking off of it. So I assume it's gonna be good. Obviously I don't have anything yet. Uh, this is our pocket floor, sort of like a, like a pocket dimension um, that lets us, you know, sort of, we can throw items into here, uh, like quality items into here and it'll give us scrap. We can then use that scrap to do these things. I have not done this yet, but you can kind of like uh, throw an item onto this and then upgrade it or repair it uh, for scrap, which we just don't have right now. But you can also use this to sort of teleport around the dungeon a little bit quicker. So this will take us back to the first floor. This takes us back to the entrance. Let's go back to the first floor here. All right. Okay. So theoretically, there's one of those on every floor is what I would imagine there. Oh, hello there, punk. But we can do some interesting things where we can, like, you know, have ooh, that more familiar traditional roguelike kind of using the environment to our advantage by maybe, like, throwing a rock oh, to get the attention. And then we could, like, well, if I would have attacked fast enough, I, I tried. You see what I was trying to do there? If we attack fast enough, we could have broke the bridge, like get the rock, get his attention, break the bridge. So imagining this, especially in the, in, not like, I don't know if I'd say intended, but the, um, the very much possible multiplayer format, it seems very interesting. We can activate those spikes a little early. We kind of gave up our ability to jump over this here, didn't we though? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, okay, we have our pickaxe. There's nothing really over there that I'm interested in, unless I wanted to kill that guy for his weapon. <laughs> okay. We got a boulder. That's a nice boulder. I don't know what that thing is. Look at the candle bounce around in the spikes. Uh... Well, I like I plugged it. <laughs> Whatever it is, I've pl I've plugged it. Oh my god! Okay, we got a lot going on here. We can sprint, but it's a little bit tricky to control. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, what's <laughs> what's up, punk? 
All right, here, get ready. Oh! Okay, okay. I guess we hit the fireball. You are annoying. You son of a gun. Okay. So I think the candles, do they mostly just, they help us with... I'm so confused as to what this is. I have no idea. Maybe if I put something in it, it comes out the other one? Which is like, you know, could be useful. Wait, what? What the hell? Why the ceiling? I can't tell. I can't tell. The ceiling just kind of caved in right there randomly, though. It's doing it again. It's trying to get me to leave, I guess. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It came back out as a, uh, a cursed candle. Moving causes surprise rocks to purify gain levels. I don't want that. So we threw it in and we got a cursed item. I mean, why would I want this, though? Was there some kind of benefit to to it? Mm. Bonus when used as an infusion material. 25% chance to burn on hit. Cool. I mean, I'm going to get rid of that for now, because, like, why would I have that? Sure, let's, uh, let's modify the rock. What could go wrong? What's, what, how about this rock? Moving causes surprise rocks. Well... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this is not a living punk. There's a treasure chest up there, but... I'm going to assume that these spikes are... Or these... Pressure plates will activate spikes. Yeah. So how... 34%. Okay, so here's the thing. Is there like a... Th there's no time, there's just no timer on it at all. Okay. Can I make this jump? Oh! <laughs> Let's go! Uh... I will say we still have to... Uh, okay, how do I actually open it? Did you smack it? Oh, I just smack it. Iron Pickaxe can deals piercing damage, can dig at the cost of 12. Super Dynamite! Um, hmm. Can I, um... Okay, I can just break... I'm assuming that breaks the trap. Very nice. Very cool! Doop, 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 doop. Let's go down. Next floor. Oh! It's alive. Uh, get the candle. Can I throw a rock into the rock? And have it explode? I don't know why that would work or matter. Uh, okay. I think that doesn't really do anything. But I also feel like I, I just accidentally threw my pickaxe inside of it. Oh, no! Why? Jerk? Okay. So that is inside of that. I could, I could throw my dynamite and I bet you that would... Um. Um. That didn't even blow it up, but it did. It did at least get us this. So why is the... Why is this rock alive? You son of a gun. I feel like I should use my ability here. Oh, he sprinted. Okay, I died once. But I came back. Okay. Blazing enchanted. Attacks will inflict burn. Oh my god. Yeah, this is one of those ones where, like... Everything is really trying to kill you. Okay, um... God, this... Even this freaking rock! There, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I kind of want to, um... I want to break that. Okay, so I do have the nice pickaxe that might be a better tool... ...for exploring here. One could get us to that side. Kind of like that for us. Instead. 
Can I charge? Okay. It doesn't look like I can here. Okay, okay, okay. Get out of my life. Another pickaxe. Good. What the hell is... There's a crystal all the way down there. We can jump down. This really reminds me of, like, um, uh, Link to the Past. What, what's the dungeon? Is it Turtle Rock that has the multiple layers? I don't recall. Okay. Good. All of that just for a candle, but, I mean, why not, I suppose? Okay. There's somebody moving through. Hey you. Hey you. Oh my god. Did we actually? We just killed him with a boulder. Uh, okay, so hold on. Let's throw this. Pick up this. Oh, it's a gun. I just got a I just got a gun. So there's that other crystal. Ha oh, okay, good. Oh god. Oof. All right, so what do we have? Guns reload while holding another item. I mean, that's extra useful now. Two to spell power, two to mana. All spells cost one more mana. I... Is this a spell? I don't know. Taking unblocked damage, gain a defense for two seconds. I'll go for the gun. Okay, so... Oh, so it's up here. Fully charged gun or bow shots do plus one damage, and then they reload. Okay, so we could do that. So we could swap. Theoretically, it'll be done when we're back. Yeah, okay. All right, very cool. Let's go to my pocket dimension here for a second. So could we... So that would be an action speed. So we could, like, throw this in here. Infuse upgrade with another item. Okay, so we probably would theoretically put in the gun. We have zero scrap. Or infuse. Insert infusion material. Uh, I think I... Oh, it, it got it. it. It actually did get it. We could get bonus knockback. Can we actually... Can we infuse it twice? Oh, no. It costs four scrap to infuse it again. Uh, how about this? So that already is going to burn. Chance to do piercing damage. Chance to bonus to unaware enemies. I'll do that. I feel like that might have been better on the gun, though. This is really interesting. Repair. I don't really need to repair anything right now. I don't know how much I would get for throwing this in. I probably wouldn't get anything. Okay. So we have the gun, the pickaxes. Alright. Head on back out. What could go wrong? Okay. Down to the down to the next? Or wait. No, don't freaking throw the gun. Oh my god, that was a one-shot. Uh, brutal. Brutal. It's a brutal, brutal axe. <laughs> it's been brutally enchanted, and it's already a brutal axe. Does increase throw damage. Okay. Hey! Okay. Um, this looks... Concerning. What? <laughs> He's still here? No! Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I got thrown up in the air. How did he survive all of those explosions? <laughs> oh my god. That's okay. We're gonna go back to the hub and we can showcase a little bit of that now. Uh, <laughs> May I have a word? Yes. Good to see you again. Have you reached a fountain yet? We're setting them up between each fog-infested world we discover. As well as the healing spring, each fountain has one of my scrap vending machines. Items cost scrap, so that machine can continue making more. You can make scrap from items in your... If you... Wait. Items of value in your pocket. What goes around comes around and all that. 
So yeah, wait, what, what is this? That's just where we spawn, I guess. Oh, that changes the, uh, the spin of all these so we could theoretically get around faster. Hello, I'm Time, the new cook. Nice to meet you. You're heading through Brittle Deep, right? My sister's currently alone in Brittle Deep Fountain. Could you take some food to her? <laughs> you can make it that far, of course. Sure. Family went uh, off to help shape her and left Daisy to guard the fountain. She's probably bored, but setting up foot. It's not setting foot in Brittle Deep anymore. I'll be gonna Okay. I, oh, oh. I'm just gonna go now. Uh, so we can actually drag these to equip them. I think these are passives. After picking a card from this deck, the next card drawn will always be upgraded. Oh, wait. Okay, so one health, one extra health recovered when leveling up. Chaos. So this is, we can't quite pick ex our exact, why is this very low resolution here? What the heck is going on with that? I will say it's cool that there is going to be five different characters that seem to have their own kind of unique quirks to them. But we are kind of picking um, a style of deck. I actually, I like that a bit more because it's less that you're kind of picking sort of a solved thing. Oh my god. Oh, hello. I mean, I don't mind that one bit. Finding the crystal is our first possible thing. So this we know came from... Gotcha! Oh, that's so cool! Wait, I really like that. So the left one is the red deck. It's kind of like a more focused on this. And you see that right here. This is the chaos deck. It can be anything. Effects of it, drinking potion are amplified. Gain a healing potion. Bose health. Deal one more damage while two or more enemies are within 2.5 meters of you. Automatically recover without taking damage when you're knocked into a wall. I'll go for this one, I suppose. Oh, that's such a smart and interesting system. Okay, so we actually have the food. We actually have the food package. This is this is a nightmare. Uh, let me think about this. <laughs> Bonk. Oh, he has a gun. He's got a gun. Hey, you. I don't have any weapons, so I kind of just have to... Oh. Uh-oh. Run! Cheese it! Okay, good. Oh, God, I was trying to move fast enough to get that going. Oh! How are you alive? Oh, no, this is not good. This is not a good start. Oof. Why won't you let me throw it? How are you alive? No, let me in! <laughs> oh, mod. They just... I thought that I got lucky. Okay, so that had nothing in there. I thought I got lucky with that spawn, but no, not at all. Okay. How are you alive? You're healing? Okay. Oh boy. Healing one one really often. I really want it. I want you dead so bad. There we go. There we go. There's the freaking boost thing. God, that took everything though. And what did he give us? Oh my god, screw you. Uh. Uh. I do bonus damage at 1 HP, which is nice. I don't know where they went. I have no idea where they went. Okay, um... Does not look like a great idea to just jump the hell on down there right now. I think we take damage in the event that we're not going in one of those, um, portals. And <laughs> spawning right by that, huh? All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, there's the crystal. Oh, God. Oh, 
Oh my god. Enough! So it caved in a bit here. Afraid to go too far forward. There we go, finally. Got a bunch of rubble, though, from that. Okay, where's that portal? There's the portal, okay. Okay, do not throw it at the bridge. I can break the bridge. <laughs> Where'd... Where'd my gun go? Did I throw my gun? What the heck? I think I threw my gun. That or it, it could have broken. There's a real chance it could have broken. Okay. What we got here? Let's head down. So it was kind of like off to the side a bit. Okay, this guy is asking for it. Oh, he's a genius! How did you wake up and attack so fast? Oh my god! Oh no. Okay, well, I'm dead. <laughs> He's a genius. I hit him and he just immediately was up. Look at them attacking each other like crazy here. This is brutal. I I enjoy that. It's kind of nice that there's absolutely no punches being pulled there. I actually really like it. Like you have to you have to be patient in a way that you typically don't have to be in an action role. Like, hence the kind of more uh, traditional sort of vibe to it here. Will you take damage by go? You have a gun. Okay, good. Oh, you ding dong. Okay, so now I gotta want that. Thank you. It'll be nice to not, you know, like spawn right by that. Elite. It was cool to spawn by the crystal, but it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so we know where that portal thing is. What the hell are you doing there? Hey, you. Oh, I wanted to... Wait. Ah, shoot! I tried. It doesn't matter. He's... God, that is the type of emergent storytelling that is like feels only possible through, uh, your, you know, like roguelikes. Okay, so okay, so that's both. If I just drop this here, though, it should only activate. Oh, screw you! What? Good. It should only activate the one time. Why do I want to be over here, though? I guess so I could, like, activate here. Look at the boulder just bouncing up and down. Okay. Ah, well, there's that. I don't think... I have not gotten my, uh... Why? Okay, hold on. I've not picked up my, um... My upgrade yet. Can I, like, can you mine this? Yes. What, it's a crab? I picked up a crab. You're mine now? Oh, there we go. Yup! After taking unblocked damage, gain a defense for two seconds. I mean, maybe four scrap, 10% move speed. I mean, I'll get this now. It's a crab. Grab the crab. Pocket crab. I mean, you just hang out right here, crab. Hi. Minus reload time. Of course, knockback. I guess I'll, um... I guess I'll upgrade this. Who <laughs> don't imagine? I am become gun. Oh, come on. It's bouncing off the backboard. Please let me just... 
Thank you. Okay, so it should... Yeah, it's chance to inflict burn. Uh, to be clear, zero scrap. Like, no, I am not throwing the crab in. I will not. Could I? I bet you I could. Do I want to? No. Okay, let's just... Let's go. I forgot where the uh, the crystal was. I think it was up to the... Oh, well, there's the uh, the path down. Interesting enough. I'm trying to see if we can... Hit them in the arm. Because I'm imagining that this wall has a bigger hitbox than you'd think, but... No, it doesn't seem like it. seems like we can just get away with this. <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad we didn't fall down there. Okay, tell you what. Revenge. <laughs> that is so loud. That is so loud. Uh, this is, this is cursed. When it's in your inventory, minus 20% action speed, sort of sloth. Does additional damage while sprinting. This hardly seems worth having right now. Uh oh. I'ma cheat it. I'ma cheat it. Well, he's stuck on that. Get wrecked. Come through the- come through the gate! Oh. Okay, well, he did, but I meant to- I was trying to get him to- <laughs> I was trying to get him to, um, you know, get launched by the spikes. Okay. Crystal. Enemies take longer to notice you, plus two health. Hmm. I'm fine with four glory. Dealing four plus damage causes a small blast. Oh, that is a fun upgrade. Why does it look like there's a rock and the dynamite in that slot? That makes no sense. Not against it, but I am surprised. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Don't let this is a uh, moments away from disaster. And now we can just walk around it. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Is there something cool up there? Could be. No, don't throw the gun. <laughs> Sorry, ranged attack is right click for everything except for ranged weapons, then it's left click. Okay, so there's the path down again. We're doing a great job of finding the pathways. But not a great way, like, great time uh, finding the crystals that we need. Oh, God, okay. That we that was... We were not thinking that one fully. Uh, um... Could we make that gap sprinting? Probably, but I feel like there's maybe going to be a better way through. I will say, like, there is a certain je ne sais quoi you only get from this kind of clearly, um, more randomly generated than procedurally generated. Like, there is certain procedural elements for sure, but it's not afraid to let there be a corridor that means absolutely nothing. There's a crystal. We could probably take... We could probably go for it and take that fall damage and not really care too much. Uh, what do we got here? Gain four scrap, 20% increased knockback. Weapons with projectile spread are 50% more accurate. Sure. Don't, don't, don't throw the gun. Okay, so we could like... Oh boy. Um... Um, 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 I thought that that would have worked better. Okay, um, 
I was trying to interact with the lever, but you can't E to interact with the lever. You have to throw something at it. You can't interact with it to, to get it. Oh, God. Just for a second here. Okay, this is not going to work. Oh, boy. So we, we are going to want to uh, get out of there. Oh, boy. Um, okay, that didn't... Okay, that just continually did not go how I wanted. That really wasn't worth it. We didn't even get the treasure chest here, so... Let's think about this. Uh, let's think about this again. Oh, boy. Run. <laughs> What's going on there, man? Hit it! Nice. All right. Um, okay. Okay, I'm trying to get that guy to fall in. There we go. Okay. Oh, uh, that's... Just... I... Oh, my God. I want this dynamite, but it won't let me grab it. There we go. Oh, okay. I got a shotgun. Plus one clip size. If we want to upgrade it. Oh my god, I totally forgot, like, where we kind of even really were at this point. We got the crystal. There's the pathway down. Oh my god. Well, I'm not dead yet. So that's pretty cool. Hey! What's this? Invisibility potion. I don't like that it is also on the grenade slot. Okay. Well, whatever. I just... I didn't like that it was on the grenade slot. I wanted to test it, though. Oops. Um, okay. Hold on. Just need to see that in action. Only one. I mean, I bet, I bet if we hit with... More, yeah, we can hit with two bullets to do more damage. Good. It also does pretty good knockback, which is nice. You're like a boss of some kind? Yup. Oh my. Okay. We staggered him. Hit him. Uh. No, not like this. I'm stuck. No. Get him! Oh my god! Get wrecked. <laughs> Hold on, just just dodge the stuff for a bit. Does this not open the treasure chest? So we can open it with E? What? Why can we sometimes open it with E, but sometimes we can't? If I smack it, I have to hit it with a melee weapon. Weird. Valkyrie. Attempts to return when thrown, dealing damage empowers the next throw, stacking up to five times. Oh my god. What's this? Revenant awakens when the wielder is at half uh, health or below. Empowered attacks 30% movement speed while awakened. Oh. Okay, well, we still have that punk back here, though. Oh no. Okay. We did our we did our buff there. Oh god. Okay, hold on. I mean piercing damage would probably be great against these guys. Oh my okay, it comes back, but it doesn't automatically re-equip. Lesson learned there. Oh my god. Jesus. Alright, let's just you know, I tell you what. Let's just go. We did it. Just just go. Just go. What happened to that food? I don't freaking know, man. Brittle Deep Fountain. Hi. We see my brother again. Tell him he should get his lazy butt back here. Sorry, please don't tell him I said that. I just miss him. Aw. Have that. Hello. 
Are you one of them delvers? What happened to my... I must have thrown it. Oh, I unlocked the miner. A, 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 char a character. What's this here? Conjure elemental. Summon an elemental friend. Ooh. Probably should have gone back to that. What are you up to? Don't worry about it. Ain't nobody knows. Don't have any scrap right now. But I can theoretically go to my pocket dimension this way. Yep, I can. Plus one throw damage. I, just... I feel like we can uh, we can throw that in here. We can upgrade this now and it won't be a problem. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Action speed. Eh. I don't think I really want to combine anything else. I guess we could get the, um... Wait, get the root of the rock for a second. Dealing four plus damage. We could maybe, maybe get this upgraded with this. Because, like, there's could be a world... Oh, my God. Where that can explode. Empowers the next throw, stacking up to five times. Great. So we could throw this a bunch of times, and eventually, like, on the final time, it would explode. That being said, like... Any way to, like, heal would be really cool? Thank you. I thought that this might be the case. Okay, good. Whew. take all the garbage. I don't have scrap. I could probably get scrap by, you know, ditching something, but I kind of like what I've got. I'm having a good time with it. This game is surprising. Okay, that was the end. I thought that might be the case. Uh, this is a surprising game. This is really, really cool. The fact that it's uh, going to be launching with, like, online co-op elements as well, too. Like, there's just, like, very minor things here and there for, like, quality of life and uh you know that would be really really handy but other than that like no big deal uh what do we have here oh there's the food package gotcha um but i really enjoy uh everything i've seen here there's there's like sometimes things are a little bit bouncy and like uh, you can get wombo comboed by enemies pretty bad but like honestly that's sort of par for the course for this kind of genre anyways it's not that big of a deal like i would say the uh, the grainy character model up there i'm sure is going to be changed in kind of like a, the full game capacity or something um but yeah other than that i don't know i'm i'm really surprised i'm really impressed i would say maybe like um i mean i don't know if it has controller support that would be something that would certainly be desired and wanted but other than that i'm just wow what a, what a surprise gate delvers is uh i think with um a good amount of polish and and content that the game is sure like surely gonna get when it comes out out i I think that this is really something that you should be watching. Um, and I bet would be an absolute blast to play in co-op with, with friends. Like, it'd be chaotic, I'm sure, uh, but I bet it would be a blast at the same time. Just It has that true, like, traditional roguelike, weird chain reaction. Everything interacts in the way you would expect, and sometimes that's good and sometimes that's bad. It has that kind of situation and, like... Like, the forging element is really interesting. I love this deck uh, choice thing. I didn't get it at first, but I get it now. And now that I get it, I think it's really cool. Like, if you pick a card in the middle, the next one will always be upgraded. Like, that that whole stuff, that's really cool. Just so cool. What a neat idea. Uh, it's not a deck builder in any way. Like, to be clear. make Let me make that clear. The fact that they're, they're decks of cards. Uh, for those of you who are like, I won't touch anything that is a deck builder. It's not even close to a deck builder. Don't worry about it. You're you're effectively drafting out level upgrades, and these are just the pools that the upgrades can come from. Like, I want a tanky. I want to get tanky upgrades in this slot. I want like ranged upgrades in this slot. I want chaos. Like, give me anything in this slot. That's really all it is. And that is such a cool system that I've never seen done before. That I think is genius. I think it is absolutely a genius idea. Uh, and I played a lot of roguelikes. I've not seen that. It doesn't mean it hasn't happened, but 
this is so, so cool. And it has me really excited about this game. But alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today. Check out the demo for yourself with the link at the top of the description. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is a genre you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Every single day, new games, new great games, especially in this genre uh, that you are going to be into. Sometimes outside of the genre in more like general dungeon crawling as well. Uh, but I will, you know, everything is going to be tangentially related to the roguelike or roguelike genre. So if that's something you like, you probably should be subscribed. You'll get notified daily of great new stuff. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.